Have you ever wondered about the origins of one of the most influential figures in history? A name that resonates across continents and centuries, Muhammad. You may have heard the name, but do you truly know the story behind it? In this video, we're diving into the life and legacy of Muhammad, the founder of Islam, a religion that has shaped civilizations and continues to inspire millions. From his early life in Mecca to his first revelation and the profound teachings that would change the course of history, well uncover the journey of a man who unified Arabia and set the foundation of one of the world's great faiths. Whether you're new to his story or seeking a deeper understanding, stick with us until the end there's so much to explore. And as you watch, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share. By doing so, you're helping others learn about the origins of Islam and the remarkable figure of Muhammad, whose impact is felt throughout the Arab world and beyond. Now, let's journey back to the 6th century, to Mecca, in modern-day Saudi Arabia, where Muhammad, known in Arabic as Muhammad ibn Abdullah, began his path as an influential religious, social, and political leader. According to Islamic belief, he was a prophet chosen to reaffirm the teachings of prophets before him, Adam, Abraham, Moses, and Jesus through the message of monotheism. In Islam, he is recognized as the seal of the prophets the last in a line of divine messengers. Born around 570 AD, Muhammad came into a family within the Quraysh tribe. Tragically, he lost both parents at a young age, becoming an orphan. He was then raised by his grandfather and later by his uncle, Abu Talib, a respected figure who offered him guidance and protection during his formative years. Despite the hardships, Muhammad grew up to be a thoughtful, compassionate man, later becoming a prosperous merchant known for his integrity. Even before his prophetic mission, Muhammad was spiritually inclined, often retreating to a secluded cave on Mount Hira. It was here, at the age of 40, that he experienced a life-altering momentum encounter with the angel Gabriel, or Jibril in Arabic. This angelic visitation marked the beginning of his role as a prophet a messenger of God, Gabriel revealed to him the words that would become the Quran, the holy book of Islam, which Muslims regard as God's unaltered message to humanity. As Muhammad began sharing these revelations in 613 AD, he proclaimed a bold and transformative message that God, or Allah in Arabic, is one, and that true fulfillment lies in complete submission to him a concept central to Islam, which means submission. His teachings and his role as a prophet were met with intense resistance, especially from the polytheistic leaders of Mecca. For over a decade, Muhammad and his small group of followers faced severe persecution. To protect them, he sent some of his followers to the kingdom of Aksum in present-day Ethiopia. Ruled by the Christian king Negus, Aksum was a sanctuary for the early Muslims. Negus' fair treatment and tolerance left an enduring mark on Islamic history earning him respect as a just ruler who welcomed refugees, irrespective of their beliefs. As tensions in Mecca escalated, Muhammad and his followers made a monumental decision the Hijra, a migration from Mecca to Yathrib, later known as Medina, in 622 AD. This migration wasn't just a journey, but a turning point that marks the beginning of the Islamic calendar. In Medina, Muhammad's influence grew as he united diverse tribes under a single charter the constitution of Medina. This document established a pluralistic community and secured his position as a revered leader. By 629 AD, after years of conflict, Muhammad gathered a devoted following of 10,000 Muslims. They marched on Mecca, reclaiming the city with minimal resistance and transforming it into the spiritual heart of Islam. The conquest of Mecca marked the beginning of a new era for Islam, one in which the Arabian Peninsula embraced Muhammad's teachings. Shortly after completing what is known as the Farewell Pilgrimage, Muhammad fell ill and passed away in 632 AD at about the age of 62. By the time of his passing, Islam had reached nearly all of Arabia. The revelations he received throughout his life, known collectively as Al-Wahi, or the Signs of God, were recorded in the Quran, which Muslims consider the divine word of God. Additionally, Muhammad's sayings and practices referred to as the Sunnah were preserved in the Hadith literature. Together, 
These form the foundation of Islamic law and continue to guide Muslims in their daily lives. Now, here are some lesser-known details about Muhammad. His lineage traces back to Ishmael, a son of Abraham, establishing a profound ancestral connection to earlier prophets. Some accounts even suggest additional familial ties among different Arab tribes, though the Islamic consensus recognizes Muhammad as a direct descendant of Ishmael through Adnan. This lineage places Muhammad within the broader Semitic heritage shared by the ancient peoples of the region. Descriptions from historical sources paint an image of Muhammad as a man of average height, with a fair complexion and wavy hair, fitting the physical characteristics of a Semitic man. His companions described him as having an expressive face, with a gentle demeanor and a piercing gaze that reflected both kindness and conviction. Interestingly, they noted he had very few white hairs, even at an older age. Regarding his family, Muhammad had multiple wives throughout his life. Among his most well-known wives were Khadija, his first wife and closest confidante, and Aisha, who later shared his teachings with the Muslim community. While sources vary on the exact number, it's agreed that he had a large family, including several children. His daughter Fatima holds special significance, particularly among Shiite Muslims who view her as his only biological daughter, while other branches of Islam recognize a broader lineage. After Muhammad's passing, he was buried in Medina, a city that continues to be a place of pilgrimage for Muslims. Today, the Prophet's mosque, built in his honor, stands as one of Islam's holiest sites, second only to the Kaaba in Mecca. The story of Muhammad is more than just a historical account. It's the foundation of a faith that has deeply shaped cultures, governments, and societies. The Islamic faith, practiced today by over a billion people, finds its roots in his revelations and teachings. This legacy, marked by the values of unity, compassion, and devotion, continues to inspire individuals and societies worldwide. So, what stands out to you about Muhammad's journey? Share your thoughts in the comments, and if you're interested in learning more about other historical figures, let us know. Be sure to like, subscribe, and stay tuned as we explore more fascinating stories from history.